We've just seen Inchidaly Copper win our third race of the afternoon. The race uh, named the honour, of course, of Honeysuckle, who was here parading this afternoon, and it provided the uh, man who joins me now, Andy Barkat, with his first winner, and your first ride on the track as well. Well done. Thanks very much. It was great. I'm only just back from the collarbone. It's my first ride back, and it's great to be back on a winner. And, of course, you were due to ride Inchidaly Copper when she won her three pint of pints in May time, but obviously you're out with a broken collarbone. That's it, I was always Chris O'Donovan rode him and he'd give him a great ride every time. He won easily every one of his point to points. It's four in a row from now, he's a great horse. He's belonged to Owen Offlin in Bantier. And I just can't thank Owen enough for letting me come back again and win on his horse. Great stuff, and of course your dad trained uh, this horse to win his three point of points. Yeah, my father was the handler and he's gone to Michael Winters now. Michael Winters is our neighbour. My brother Luke was the man riding him out there when we were the, when he was running in his pint of points. I was out of action and Luke was the main man running the yard. So thanks to Luke too. Great stuff. And what were you expecting coming here today? Obviously he was coming into it in good form off the back of his pint of pints. He was favoured as well. Were you a little bit nervous coming today? I wasn't to be honest. He's he's a horse. He improves from every run and. He keeps getting better, really, to be honest. We weren't, we were quite confident in him coming here today, and I suppose there was always going, he was going to have to go and do it, but we were confident could bring him on today. And was it always the plan to bounce out and make the running on him? That was the plan, yeah. Ideally, if someone could have came up sides with him, he's a bit idle. We have the cheek pieces on him because of that. Um, he, yeah, I thought we were going a bit slow. I was trying to stretch him down the hill, but. He, he did just enough, so it all worked out great. Great stuff. You could see by your body language and your reaction going by the line, you got a great kick out of it. What was your initial feeling when you went by that winning post in front? Oh, it was great, sure. It was great every time he won, but it's just a bit better when you're on his back. and It's a great feeling. You can't describe it. And tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm an amateur jockey. I'm kind of freelancing a bit. I'm mostly with my father. We're training point to pointers there all winter. We're kind of select off now for the summer but yeah I've got the sea license now. Hopefully I can get a few rides on the track during the summer. I'm with Michael Winters there, a nice bit as well. And you're only neighbours as well of Michael Winters. That's it. He's only down the road from us. He's kind of working a bit off our gallop and we're working off his gallop. We're training away together. Great stuff. And have you come from a background with, with horses? Did you do the ponies, row ponies and all that as a younger man? I did. I did a bit of pony racing. I I kind of started at that late. I rode three winners in flapping. Um, we had ponies all along. I was hunting and hunter trials and all that. My mother had a riding school and my father was always working with horses before his accident. So ponies all the way, yeah. Great stuff, so it's a dream come true to ride your first winner. That's it, it was great now to ride the first winner and on our own horse, even better. Brilliant, and hopefully it's the first of many. Andy, many congratulations. Yeah, thanks very much.